and welcome to the mobile home diva channel in today's channel i'm going to be tackling my home office if you've uh watched any of my videos before you know that i am in the process of remapping my home office and right now my office is in a mess so today we're going to tackle some of the bigger issues to start clearing out the office if you're interested in anything mobile home living make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time i upload a video my office space in that corner it makes me excited right but back there <laughs> so the first step in being able to even get to this mess is all of these boxes with the stuff of donation I have a uh, extra big box here so I'm gonna lay everything out and wrap it up and, and that's why I haven't been able to just like get it out of the way because I'm scared to even move the big box the, that the main stuff is in for fear that I'm going to break stuff. So my mom brought me a bunch of newspaper over here. I'm going to lay everything out now and get it um, wrapped and, and boxed up correctly so when she comes tomorrow, she can pick the stuff up for donation. So let's do that first and then we'll see how we can start clearing off the couch. To donate as you can see it's not enough stuff to do a yard sale that's it that is it so we are going to wrap this stuff up I think I'm gonna keep those three canisters over there from my pantry area I got a bunch of beans and rice that are just in bags so I think I'm gonna use this I'm going to keep these. I'm going to wash them out because I think they had, I know that one, one of them had flour in it. So I'm going to keep those three. I don't know what my vision was for these. I got them at a little thrift store for a dollar. And I think my mom gave me that and they went together. I don't know what I was going to do with that. I wanted those three to sit in my kitchen window, but I don't think I ever even tried. But I don't think that my window is wide enough. I wanted them to sit in my kitchen window, 
because let's see if I can darken you up a bit. I wanted them to sit in my kitchen window, but I'm so afraid. See that my window's not wide enough. You know how different color light comes in your house? It's not wide enough to just sit there. So, to sit in the window. And every time, every time you close the blinds, can you see? I did that just so you can see. So every time you close the blinds, you run a risk of knocking down or even when you lift the blinds up. I'm gonna donate those as well. Or you know what? I'm always thinking of a way to keep something. <laughs> I guess I just like the color combination because I went and got these from Dollar General. So, I mean, there's no reason for me to keep this. I guess maybe I could use it to do something different with, but I don't know. I kind of like this. But I don't even have the stoppers. I'm just going to donate it. Because <laughs> I got these. I'm just going to donate it. Okay, so I put these back in the donation pile. This vase right here, I really like. For some reason, I got it from a thrift store. But I never used it. This mirror I've had for a very long time. It used to have other things on it. Candles and um, little heart-shaped here, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, there are a few more of the little um, glass baubles, uh, but I, did, I just grabbed a handful. So the candles sit in the middle, and that sits around it, and it's set on the table. And I used to have this, use this years ago. I've just been holding on to it. I don't use it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and donate it. And I'll probably donate those candles as well. But I'm going to keep these. Um... Because I have them in something else. I have them in a glass thing on my sh on my tub. Then I have these vases. I think this was blue. And I painted it silver and gold. I think I gave it too much gold. But anyway, I don't use it. Uh, that vase was a different color. I painted it just like that. Uh, that picture, that white picture over there was a different color. I painted it and put the word eat on the front. And I kept my utensils in it on the counter. I have, that's a fruit holder on the bottom, candle holder on the top. It's laying on the side. Again, I got the, those from the thrift store. I have so many of these little ceramic bowls uh, that I'm gonna give them away. That was all glass. And I tried to DIY it, something I saw on YouTube. It didn't come out like theirs did. <laughs> this little ball came with the house. Never really use it. That is a, let me get up. This is a candy dish. And I don't remember what this is. I think that, oh, you know what? I had a drink dispenser that used to sit in here and it cracked around the part where the um liquid came the drink came out of so i threw the glass away yeah this is a candle holder these are just apples sitting in here fake apples this is a candle holder i've been looking for this i didn't want to get rid of this because i use that uh and then i just have some lamp shades and just little doohickeys, pictures, this picture right here used to be in my office and I got it from the at home store when pictures were like 75% off. I think I paid, paid probably five or six dollars for it and these three with it. And 
donating that. This picture donating shoes, champagne, and sunshine. Donating. This is a bag full of dish towels. Some of them I've never even used before. But I have more dish towels than I know what to do with. So, yeah. Let's get to wrapping. So we got our donation stuff at the front door. I actually put an extra box up there because that first box that I drag is really heavy. My mom is coming to pick up the stuff and I want it to be light enough for her to carry. So when she gets here, we're gonna separate it. Um, I just don't have enough space to have everything laid out today. So when she gets here, we'll separate it and make sure it's light enough for her to take from her car into the garage as she waits on Hope House to come um, later this week. But we got a clear path, excuse the mess, cause I, all of that was in the way. I gotta put these bags over there. They're going to the donation pile. And I got a clear path into the office now. So next step is we'll start working on clearing off the couch. And that probably will give us some more stuff to donate. I don't have space for all of that stuff. I just gotta figure out what it is, you guys. That that couch became the catch-all for stuff, and I now I have to figure out where it's going or if I'm even gonna keep it. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed um, this section of getting the office together um getting our donations together you guys if you have stuff that you haven't used in a long time i suggest getting your stuff together and donating to somebody that can use it you don't always have to give to a place that um sells like goodwill and some of those other um known thrift stores because you give it to them and then they sell it back to the public if you want to give, if you have stuff that you haven't used and you think somebody else can use it, find a shelter, find a, a rehabilitation center, find, um, I love the ones that help uh, women and children that have been abused, that help recovering addicts, that help the homeless get on their feet. Um, if that's something that you're interested in and you have some stuff that you want to donate, by all means, please, please do so. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you uh, give this video a thumbs up. Comment and tell me what you liked about the video, okay? And of course, make sure that you're subscribed not only here, but on my vlog channel, See Me Vlogs. Thanks so much for watching and you have a great day.